That's the word, isn't it? Yes, sir. But today I want you to just look at your life. All right. Don't look at nobody else's life. I want you to understand and look at it and say, look, while you were in your mother's womb, God knew you. Did you hear what I just said? While you were in your mother's womb, God knew you and he planned out all of your life. And in your life, every day not going to be sunshine. Into his life, some rain, come on here, y'all, is going too far. You need to understand, if you check with the author, you know how it is. You check with the weatherman. I don't know who your weatherman is, but a uh, weather person. You know, for you men, they got them girls on early in the morning. You check with your weather girl, and they tell you it's going to be hot today. Uh -huh. Or it's going to rain, or it's going to storm. It's gonna... But because you check with them, you make preparation. Uh -huh. When you check with the author, he lets you know you need to make preparation. Uh -huh. I've got to get out of here. He's not just the author, but he's the finisher. Yes. Y'all right. didn't like that. Mm -hmm. See, some people who start stuff don't always finish. No right. it's, it's a lot of folks sleeping in their grave started a business, but it never got started. Come on here, y'all. A lot of people started to write a book that never got written. And sometimes authors do some stuff at the end that we may not like. Anybody here saw Avengers? By yeah. show of hand, there you go. Did you like that ending? No. Okay. Anybody here saw, uh, what's that other movie before Avengers? Black Panther, thank you. Y'all saw Black Panther? How you feel about the ending of Black Panther? That was real good. But you know who, who put the ending to Avengers? The author. <laughs> you know who wrote the ending to the Black Panther? The author. And guess what? When you came out of a video, well, me and my mama went to see both of them. And when my mama came out, she said, I don't want to see that no more. <laughs> Talking about the event, she said, that didn't make no sense. And sometimes in life, it really don't make sense. <laughs> but you're not the author. <laughs> and you're not the finisher. <laughs> oh, come on here, y'all. Some, some, some things in your life that if you was the author, you never have a broke day. <laughs> If you were the author, you'd never have a sick day. I'm talking about if you was the author. If you were the author, you wouldn't even go to work. You wouldn't have a job. You'd already just be rich. Y'all don't want to act like if you was the author, you'd write something different. If you was the author, you wouldn't even have the same baby daddy or baby mama. Y'all yeah, wasn't supposed to get on that street there. <laughs> but, but you know, I've heard it said too many times. He ain't did nothing. I say, well, I, he ain't good for nothing. I say, but he the baby daddy. Uh -huh. That's about the only thing he did. <laughs> but, but, but if you were the author, you wouldn't write the same story for your life. Come on, y'all. In the Bible, I'm getting out of here. Right there in Hebrews, it, it says that Abel had a better sacrifice than Cain. And because of Abel's sacrifice, Cain got jealous and killed him. It's, it's written right there for you to read it. But read what it says in, in the 11th chapter. He says, but even though he was dead, his sacrifice was still counted great. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. working me hard today. Let me try. Anybody here other than me, your mother prayed for you? Your grandmother prayed for you? Come on, you, you see, I, I, I remember hearing them old folk, they would call your name out. They, they, they would call you by name. And, uh, Reverend Simmons, you know what I'm talking about. When they, they call you by name, you know that I got one somebody praying for me because I need that prayer. But even though they may be gone, I just told you they up looking. Even though they may be gone, God is being faithful to their prayer and their faithfulness. Oh, yeah. I didn't like that. Let me try it again. See, you have to understand to be 
faithful, the author had to already write it in your Bible. Right. Right. It, it, it's not luck or chance that you and Dawson got together. It was already written by the author. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 A, a year and some months ago, the author was changing this story, but he had already done it way before then, but you just got on to it. See, I was at the Center Union Church. Come on here, somebody, for Derek and Sister Dawson's anniversary year after year. But the author says, I'm gonna make a change. See, you think you, you, think you put him in here. that you got the votes and you voted and you celebrated we made a good choice but the author said y'all ain't did nothing yeah. but what I wrote it yeah. 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 I'm trying to get out of here I'm about to shout by myself see if you would check with the author you know how we do it they got songs say order my steps Lord in your word show me how to walk Lord in your word show me how to talk come on here y'all in your word, show me how to love everybody. Well, in your word. Mm. Can, I, can, can, I, can I have seven minutes? I'm through, I promise you, I'm done. Seven minutes. In, 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 in that same text, it says, look, Noah was counted faithful because he did what God said. But you got to know the story. God told him to build an ark. It didn't take him 10 minutes to build it. Noah right. right. told him to preach a sermon. It's gonna rain, mm -hmm. and Noah preaching it's gonna rain. Yeah, all right. Cousins make made fun of him. Friends made fun of him, but he kept yeah. on building. Yeah. Yeah. And he kept on preaching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna rain. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It had never rained before. He tell him God gonna do something that have never been done before. But you just gotta keep on preaching. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and keep on building. He said, God said, I'm going to give the increase. Let's, you just keep on going. And guess what the Bible says? That because of his faithfulness, not only was he saved, but his whole household. Let me, let me clarify that. His whole household. Because, see, Methuselah is in his lineage. And Methuselah didn't get on the boat. As old as Methuselah is, Methuselah could have lived to be a little bit older if he'd have listened at his great grandchild, great grandchild, great great grandchild. However far up there, I ain't checked it this morning, but it's the same thing. He's in his lineage. If Methuselah would have listened, he wouldn't have drowned in the flood with the other folk. Y'all understand? I don't care how old you are, somebody can tell you something. Y'all didn't like me. I'm getting out of here. I don't care how old you are, somebody can tell you something. I'm done. Because I thought about what he says that he's the author and the finisher of our faith. And looking at the joy, he went to the cross. Yes, sir. He, he looked past the cross to the joy. I wish I had a few people in here that could just look past your situation. Look past your circumstance. Look past what the devil keep deceiving you with and say, I still got joy. Yeah. Jesus says, I look past the cross and I despise the shame. Yeah. Y'all didn't get it. Let me try again. He was on the cross, but he looked past the cross. But while he was on the cross, he looked out and saw the same disciples that had been walking with him. Uh -huh. yeah. Same disciples that had been talking with him. Matter of fact, he had already prophesied to him. Yeah. He said, before the cock crow, you're going to deny me three times. Yeah. And he's looking at the cross, looking at him, despising, shame, all I've done for you. And you say, I don't know the man. Good as I am to you, and you say, I don't know the man. Woke you up this morning. Started you on your way. And you complain and saying, I don't know the man. You say, don't worry about it. 
because I had already told him, Pete, the devil desires to sift you as wheat. Uh -huh. But when you convert, yes, sir. Yeah. help the brother. Yeah. I mean, let me try it again. The devil got my resume. He, he know I don't, I don't deserve to be here with another chance. He got your resume. He know we don't deserve to be sitting up here on a Sunday morning talking about God is good to us. He said, yeah, God been real good to y'all. Right. You know, like me right there. I'm done. I got to get out of here. Come back here, Joe. Joe said, yeah, God was good to me. Yeah. And even though God has been good to me, he says, I know my children. They do what they're supposed to when they're in front of me. And when they get down to the schoolhouse, when they get down at the park, they might not do like they do when they're in front of me. So I have to pray for them. That God would protect them and God would cover them. And the Bible says, yo, begin to lose his stuff. Cattle. Stuff gone. Children die. The Lord give it. And the Lord take it away. The Bible says that Job's health got bad. And his wife said, Job, you ought to go and cuss God and die. Well, that ain't even the end of the story. Because the Bible says that his friends came. When his friends got there, they just looked at him for a week. Just looked at him. Uh -huh. And finally they said, Joe, 